Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new doll related video almost every single day. And in today's video, I'm so excited because I finally got my grubby little mitts on larvae dolls. So if you haven't heard of these, these are the Teenage Fashion Maggot dolls. And these were designed by American Toy Coon, who is an independent toy designer. He has worked in the doll industry before. He's worked on doll lines that you may have heard of. I highly recommend you follow him on Instagram if you're just interested in doll and toy design in general, especially if you want to see like parts of the process. Because through Larvae, which was a Kickstarter backed campaign, I was one of the Kickstarter backers. That's how I got these. And it's just been so so cool to see every step of the way from someone who has actually worked in the industry and just he walked all of the all of his fans through it so beautifully and I've been so excited about this doll I know for a lot of you guys this is just absolutely not and I totally get it but for me the stranger the doll the better especially if you can execute it in a way where it's still a fashion doll and still fun and as soon as I saw larvae I knew I was sold I knew this was going to be for me and I'm so so excited to finally have them in my hands so originally I was just going to pick one because there is a blonde option and a brunette option also obviously this is very much a parody of Barbie right like a like a grub a, a maggot version of Miss Barbara. So you see like larvae, obviously, teenage fashion maggot. It's got genuine there. It's just, it's very like Barbie themed. Obviously the outfit is like <laughs> a parody of the original Barbie. It's just, I'm so stoked. I'm so, so stoked. So this is what the packaging looks like for larvae. And I will turn the camera around in just a second. I just, for this particular video, I wanted to do my old style of video where I'm just on camera because I just, I'm so excited. I felt like I couldn't just be behind the camera the whole time. So, and then here's the brunette one. I'll just show you real quick because we're about to do a turnaround. And I'll open this with you guys right now. I have the fan club kit because I was a Kickstarter backer. This was one of the rewards for the tier that I was at. And so, so excited. Also, if you were not obviously if you were not able to back the kickstarter it was a while ago it's over now there are extras of these dolls that are like available and just follow the designer on instagram instagram seems to be where he mainly posts and you should be able to see them okay i have no idea what's in this fa um, fan club kit actually so okay so first we have the official larvae fan club membership card and then this is american toy coon's little logo and it says this is to certify that the above named larvae fan is a fashion maggot and all good standing of the national larvae fan club and is entitled to all rights what rights does this entitle me to i'm very curious please let me know and then it says once there was a glamorous maggot with so much fashionable swag it made her giddy with fame to proudly exclaim that beautiful larvae is her name and then there's these really cool silhouettes and it says these are copyright 2021 so this has been a project that's been in the works for a while but the kickstarter was i think it was earlier this year but it might have been late last year Oh, these are stickers. I thought this was like a postcard of some sort. Um, and then there's some gorgeous artwork. Obviously, a lot of these are specific parodies. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. The art. It's just, I love, I love Larvae. I cannot wait to show you this doll. I can't wait to hold this doll in my hand, honestly. And then I also got a little Larvae postcard that says Genuine Larvae, of course. And her signature just so beautiful. And then, I'm so excited. I got a Larvae fan club pin. And um, Larvae is part of this uh, specific like universe of lush vegetation. So I will also link that Instagram in the description. Uh, definitely follow that if you're interested in Larvae as well as just this artwork in general. So it's a really nice pin. Like, wow. Um, just this really nice enamel pin of Miss Larvae. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the camera around so that we can get a closer look at these two and then we'll unbox them together. Really quickly, let's take a closer look at our larvae dolls up close before we go back to the other side of the camera to do our unboxing. So there are two different larvae dolls right now. There's a blonde version and then the variant, which is the brown haired one. There's no real difference between them except the hair. So any other differences are likely just factory variations. So now I'm going to show you what the doll looks like in her packaging. So this is the blonde larvae doll, of course. the top of the box and I love the little flies everywhere so cute and then there's the brunette and the blonde on the larvae logo 
and this is the prototype larvae so she looks quite different but it's so cool to see her on the packaging and this was intriguing it says look for these exciting fashions coming soon i hope that's serious like i don't know if that's a joke but i i hope that it is real because oh my gosh i would love to have fashion packs for larvae and again i will have links to american toy coons social media in the description and then we have the brunette larvae and this is the exact same packaging so you know same thing going on yeah so brunette blonde <laughs> and then we have the fan club pin so this is what that looks like i just wanted to show you that up close because love it i love it so so excited all right it's time to unbox our larvae dolls I'm so nervous. I've been looking forward to this for so long. So since these were designed by a toy collector who's also a doll designer, a toy designer in general, uh, these are very thoughtfully designed in their packaging so you can easily put them back in. So there doesn't seem to be any tape or any kind of plastic ties. You just have to be careful when you open this part so that it doesn't rip. And oh my gosh, here we go. So first we're going to be doing the brunette. I love brown hair. <laughs> okay. This is so cool. So the backdrop is a simple little like curtain and a staircase. And here is one of our larvae dolls and she smells like new plastic. And I love that smell. And I noticed this when I was looking at her in the box, instead of plastic ties, there's ribbons holding her in the packaging. That is so thoughtful. And it makes it where you can easily repackage her. And it also makes it where there's no harsh creases or anything like sometimes the plastic will get like a line from the plastic ties I know you've seen that before if you've collected dolls with any like not super hard plastic on them oh my gosh okay this is so weird and surreal weird in a good way like this is so exciting so here is my first larvae doll it doesn't matter they both came at the same time but the first one I held oh her hair is fabulous too so this rubber band's supposed to come out and here she is. So she has what I'm pretty sure is extremely soft nylon hair with, I don't feel any kind of styling product, but there could be some kind of wax in it. Um, oh my gosh. She has earrings. Oh wow. The lashes are like kind of done like the original Barbie, of course, because these are a parody of that. You can see like I, I'll show you when we have the camera turned around. And then of course she's got the iconic swimsuit, which it's more of a top, right? Because we didn't have any uh, <laughs> anywhere to put the rest of the swimsuit. It's so gorgeous. And it is like any other doll clothing. So you can totally switch this doll's clothing. Which, again, I'm so intrigued by the look for more fashions coming soon. And then I knew about this from watching the production process of these. Look. The back says, Larvae Teenage Fashion Maggot. Oh my gosh. So, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. So, and the joints on this doll are the head joint, the shoulders, and they don't swivel out. It's just a simple, like, this way movement. And then the belly joint. Um, and these are independently designed and meant specifically to be, like, art toys mixed with fashion dolls. It's hard to explain, so I'm not really going to be, like, sitting here like, oh, the articulation could be better this way because that's not what... That's not what this is about to me. It's about the design and the artistry with these for me. And it's just so excited. Look at her. I actually was not super familiar with the fact that there would be that really cool, um, I guess, a hip joint. So that's awesome. Okay. One of my favorite things about this design is this isn't just like a grub with like Barbie hair or something. This is so cute. If you notice, her tail is a foot because, of course girl needs her shoes. She's got this little high heel shoe to put on her weird little foot tail. Is that not the most spectacular thing? And then, of course, she's got the premiere issue of Larvae magazine. I don't want to bend this at all. I have to be super, super careful getting this out of here. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Look. Larvae. And it says this is Bizarre Maggot Zine the premiere issue. So, so exciting. Look at the 
this little thing. Um, and the blonde larvae's on there though, so sorry, mama. And then we have these sunglasses. And again, not a single plastic tie. I love it. You know how I feel about those tea ties. I can't stand them. <laughs> um, and here she is with those sunglasses on. Oh my god, this is so cool. So what else to do than to unbox the blonde one now? I can't get over how soft the hair is. That's so, so exciting. I know exactly where these dolls are going to be displayed in my collection, and it's with vintage dolls that are weird like this, uh, that are, like, very strange, like, creature dolls, like gorgeous creatures, for example. So, um, but these are so elevated because of the nylon hair. Like, they just feel so different. Uh, so it's really cool. Okay. <laughs> Gotta untie the little bows, and, like, it's so, it's, like, really satisfying to untie the bows and free your doll. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay. And we just have to actually pull them out of here. And she's free! And then we have that rubber band, of course. So interestingly, the, the hair color truly does make a difference. And I'm pretty sure they're the exact same toy, just with a different hair color. But it truly does make a difference in what the face actually looks like, which, duh, like, that's why people dye their hairs, because it makes them look noticeably different um oh we need, we need the shoe for this one as well and this seems to be a pretty standard doll sized foot barbara sized foot at least for um like vintage i think it would fit pretty modern ones too um so i think we could play around with what shoes we put on her as well so here they are oh my god this is so <laughs> look at that they're beautiful my beautiful larvies okay I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look at them. Here are my two larvies up close. So we'll start with the blonde one this time since we started with the brunette earlier. So my blonde one's hair is a little bit messier just from the packaging, but I will be fixing that. And the again, these are a parody of Barbie. It's pretty self-evident, right? So they have the curled bang, which is super iconic. Like the, the LOL Surprise OMG doll that's also a parody of original Barbie. You'll notice she also has this. Um, and her hair is styled in a ponytail, a curly ponytail, with a little ponytail wrap. And she's got earrings for her lack of ears, but I love it. And it's actually a um, like vacuum metalized earring which I always really love and it is I think one piece it, it really looks like two pieces it's really cool sculpt looks so good and they're just gold hoops and then this is what Larvie's face actually looks like so you'll notice there's like the head cap there from like in theory that would have been the root line but it seems like the designer decided to do the bangs instead of course um and then just look at the makeup it's like really well done makeup and I love the way the lashes are done. I was talking about it earlier. Okay, that is the spitting image of original Barbie. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, these are so cool. This is such a cool toy. And I just love that, yes, this is like a like a vinyl art figure. Like, these are pretty popular among collector circles. Not necessarily doll collector circles, but you know, like... Pop vinyls are the lowest possible denominator in that realm. But this is in that sort of realm, except... The designer has made them more like dolls by having the hair and the articulation and the clothing, and it's just so, so cool. This is a beautiful intersection of those things, and I really hope to see more projects like this, from this designer especially, but, you know, just in general. This is just so, so cool, so... I just look at, like, the sculpt. It's just beautiful. This is just a beautiful, beautiful doll. And again, I love the... The back like that. We They need to bring that back for dolls. Oh my god, I did not notice that earlier. Oh, I love it. That's his logo. Oh, it's so cool. And then the outfit, it's a really nice quality material. Oh, it's lined. Wow. And the Velcro is that really high quality, nice Velcro too. <laughs> super, super nice. It's a simple outfit because it didn't really need a whole lot of uh, construction, I guess, because she's tubular because she is a larva. <laughs> and then I just love the foot. That's just so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then brunette larvae, I mean same thing going on here right but that's what her face looks like with the bangs out of the way and i just think her hair is softer but could just be a placebo but so so soft so so soft and i mean just look at the the makeup like the the, the design of the face the sculpt every detail of these is just so impressive i just adore them i just adore them and then here's the sunglasses again very very thick rimmed sunglasses and 
just really well done with the see-through material and you can just stick them right on interestingly they fit super well like when dolls with ears like often they don't fit well at all even though there's no ears for this to sit on and they're actually not even sitting on the earrings i guess you can sit them on the earrings maybe um yeah that works too i kind of liked the angle that i had earlier better but these just stay on super well which is awesome they're very well fitted I, oh my god these dolls are so cool <laughs> these dolls are so cool i love them and then here is that larvae magazine it's just a cute extra that's it for this video so i want to give a reminder that these dolls are the passion project of a singular artist and of course there were other people involved in the creation of these but these are the baby of one artist so please be mindful this isn't some big corporation creating these this is one person please be respectful even if these aren't for you and they're super weird and they just do not fit your aesthetic or anything that's totally valid that's totally fine but there's a way to express that that's not disrespectful or hurtful to um the artist who created them so um for me these are wonderful you guys know if you've been watching me for a long time if you've been watching all my videos i really like a weird doll i really like a fun concept i really like something different and this is the most different I think I've got in my entire doll collection, and I don't think that's going to change for a long, long time. I have other, like, creature dolls. Of course, the gorgeous creatures are, like, the most obvious one to point to. They come to mind. Uh, and they just make me so happy. They're so special. There's just something... I have so many dolls of people and fairies and mermaids and even like Monster High. I have a lot of like monsters, but they're all fairly humanoid. And overall, like I, I can appreciate any doll for any reason. And that's why I have so many dolls and that I love them so much. But it's just so, so cool to see a concept like this come along. And it's really exciting too to see artists taking charge and using crowdfunding and things like Kickstarter to fund their dream projects and i've seen another project to fund a dream doll come around from the blix Unami. if you've heard of them from um mer people on netflix fame if that name like slightly rung a bell to you um i will link them in the description they're actually working on a project to design an indie doll so um definitely keep an eye out for these i'll be keeping an eye out for different projects like this that hopefully i can take part of and inform you guys about just sharing them on my various social medias and i just it's so so exciting to see something like this hit the market these were produced in pretty limited quantities because it was for the kickstarter and then some extras so there are extras i don't know how many some of them were already sold they were like supplied in a store in la and i'm pretty sure they all sold out by now because the website sold out of them i was like honestly tempted to buy another one and i just maybe maybe i'll buy another one if there could be like if he ever releases signed ones i would die to have one signed but like these are so so cool so hopefully if you guys are interested in them more will come up for sale in theory more of them can be produced now that the original batch is out and in the world so definitely follow this designer he's so wonderful and friendly uh we've had like dm conversations about doll design and different things especially pertaining to these because i'm just such a big fan i've been so hyped like following every step of the process for these and that's another thing that's so cool about this too is usually toy production is so hush hush and under wraps and the things that we do see including the things that i sometimes have the honor to be able to show you are not things you're supposed to see they're things that the companies that create dolls pay a lot of money to make sure that we don't see uh so some things slip through the cracks and we get to see them but it's all very like mysterious and the reason for that isn't necessarily that they want to keep it from the consumer sometimes it is but it's mostly to keep it away from other companies you know you don't want other companies to be able to beat you to something that you're actively producing or working on so you know it makes sense but it's just so so cool to see an independent designer creating something where they can share every step of the process if they um, are comfortable doing so and want to do so and that was definitely one of the coolest things about this project i would have been so excited regardless even if it was just i paid my money didn't hear anything until my dolls arrived a year later like i would have been totally fine with that because i don't think artists owe us anything like that truly unless it's something we explicitly paid for the right to have but i just it was so special it was so cool and that will definitely like all holding these in my hands right now honestly doesn't feel as much like a, as like a novelty necessarily because I've just followed the produ production process so closely so it's just like cathartic it's like finally my baby is here I've watched you gestate I've watched you grow and gosh can you imagine like a fly version I don't know how that would work but you know because this is larvae this is an adolescent a teenage fashion <laughs> uh larva you know 
Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of these again in a respectful way, please. I, I love a weird doll and these are so, so special and I can't wait to see more from this designer in general, even if it's never another doll or anything again, just more artwork of this character. I just think it's such a fun and cool idea and I love a good parody and these are, they, they have the parody element that makes them like familiar and nostalgic in a way, but then they have that just completely new just ingenuity to them that just makes them so special and it's just the tail being the foot for the shoe is so genius so genius <laughs> anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching for all this time bye